Okay, thank you, Mr. Walker, for having us here today. I've had a good look around your house. Yeah. Um, and I suppose really, we ought to cut to the chase. You'd like, like to know the value um, at today. Um, yeah, lovely. Based on, on houses that I've, I've seen recently, I think that your house is worth about £250,000. Right, okay. Great, it, lovely. Is that about where, where you thought it would be? Uh, possibly, yeah. I'm not quite sure. So, looking for the expert advice type of thing. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, and well, based on that, would you like to give us the instructions to sell the house? Today? I'm seeing a couple of other guys tomorrow, so I'd like to see them, first of all, and obviously see what they say and uh, before I make a decision. Okay. Well, our fees are about 1.5%. Of course, yeah. And, They're about 1.5%, uh, aren't they? Uh, and I'll give you a call tomorrow when right. you've seen those other people. Lovely. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank So, you've just seen um, a typical interview between an estate agent and a vendor. Um, not one I would recommend, and I have to confess now that was a complete spoof. I'd like to introduce you to uh, James, who's from uh, Alistair Morrison. Um, thank you very much for doing that for us, James. Um, the reality is, um, in my mind, that when most vendors uh, get estate agent round, what you've just seen is, is the reality of what happens. Um, I, when I do an interview for an estate agent, I have very good estate agents working for me for the simple reason that I prefer to lead the conversation rather than let them sell to me. So, um, not only has James done that quick spoof for us, uh, but now he's also agreed, uh, as a very brave gentleman, um, to come in here and to uh, sit through my how to grill an estate agent properly. Um, and I always say, there's about 20 questions that you should ask an estate agent um, before you give them instruction for your home. James knows, you know, I'm relying on this guy here to make, sell my property for 200, 300 million pounds. I want to make sure of all the agents I've got to choose from that I've got the best bloke, um, or girl, of course, um, to sell my home. So, James, thank you very much for joining us today. Um, I appreciate how, how brave you are being. Um, so, you have genuinely actually looked around my house. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Which, of course, you'll say is beautiful, isn't it? It is lovely. It's very nice, yes. <laughs> so... My kind of first question, as I'm sure everybody would want to know, um, is what do you think the value of this property is? I think your house is worth in the region of £300,000. Okay, I'd probably agree with that actually. <laughs> um, but, come on, anybody can pluck a figure out of the air. What, what's that value actually based on? How do I know you're not just giving me a value to make me give you the instruction, which does sometimes happen? Absolutely. Um, we value the property based on sold houses locally. Um, and the information for that is got from net house prices, okay. which we would get a list of, of local, yeah. local yeah. houses which have, have sold and, and the values that they achieved. We also use um, the Right Move website, which allows us to produce a best price guide okay. um, detailing all the properties that have um, been on the market locally. Um, and whether yeah. they've sold or not, you can have a Yes, absolutely. Okay. So that's those that are on the market, those that are sold, and those right. that have remained unsold and been removed from the market. Okay. Um, and it, can anybody get, can I get access to this? No, absolutely not. It's, it, it's, it's very it's hard to, it's just us right, as agents, okay. I'm afraid. That's a shame. Um, <laughs> this information is, is really important and it lists the detail, it details how long the property's been on the market. Yeah. Um, so in, in days, um, from when and to when, so from 2005 to 2006, for example. Right, okay. So you got a pretty good idea. If something is overvalued and hasn't sold or it did eventually sell, but for a lot Absolutely. less, you've kind of got a good idea yes. why. Right, yeah. okay. And so basically that 300,000 has come from properties that you've An assessment of, of properties locally. Um, for instance, um, we've had a look at a property just down the road, yeah. um, which has been on the market, as you can see, for 536 days there. Right, okay. That was on the market a little bit too much money, possibly. Yeah. Um, and so we can take details from that. Okay, to, to, and I guess your job is to try and find the one that's most similar to mine. It's sorting the wheat from the chaff. Right, okay, fantastic, thank you. And kind of, how do I know? Have you sold similar properties to this? So what I tend to find with buyers is, to start off with, they'll look at um, 10 different agents and every week, but then they'll kind of go down to three and four, yeah. depending on the ones that are selling their types of properties. So I've got a 200-year-old cottage. Mm -hmm. um, we are in a village, so there's not huge numbers of properties to sell. But have you sold similar properties recently? We have, and it's important to note that people looking in this village will have considered other villages around. Yes, of course. Um, we have sold a, a number of properties locally, um, two which are, are most comparable to your property um, were... Um, located in other villages fairly locally. Right, okay. Um, so the kind of buyers that we're talking about for this one, you've already had? Yes, yes. Okay, fantastic. Um, and how long, is it, how long is something like this going to take to sell? 
Well, um, it depends very much on, on the property specifically. Sure. Um, but the comparable properties that we've sold locally, um, one sold within uh, about six weeks wow, and, okay. and, and the other, other, was, uh, other was a little bit longer, about 12 weeks. Okay. And what was it? Why did one sell for six and one take 12? Um, the one that was, that was on the market and took six weeks to sell was um, more realistically priced right. and very, very well presented. Okay. Um, so, so it, so moved, it sold really fairly quickly. Okay, sure. um, the, the other wasn't quite so well presented and right. was in a testing the market situation. So we're, we're pushing the, 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 the asking right. price a little bit right, more okay. to, to see how, how so the market received it. How high you go. Okay. Um, and how many viewings, how many people, how many, how many people have got out through the door? So how many times have we got to tidy up? How many times have we got to be in or not? So what I also want to know is how many viewings is it going to take? How many times have we got to tidy up? How many people have got to come round? All of that kind of stress factor. How many people do you think we're going to have to come through the door to sell a property? Again, it depends on a property. Um, for instance, the property that we sold within six weeks, yeah. um, we showed three people around, whereas the, the property we sold within 12 weeks, um, we, we had to do about eight viewings. Okay, so we're talking probably anything up to 10, realistically, is to, to, to get an offer. Okay. Um, and one of the things I tend to find is you, you take on an estate agent and then they ring you up and you find yourself doing all the viewings. Okay. Um, does that happen if I'm going to give my business to you? As part of the service we offer, we can right. provide company, a company of viewings, um, okay. and that's within office hours and outside of office hours. Oh, okay, so you're not going to shut the evenings and weekends then? No, we'll do our okay. best to do Okay, happy all about things. that. Uh, Excellent. Um, one of the things that um, does frustrate us me sometimes is that you give your instruction agent and then you never hear from them for two weeks. Okay. Um, so, do you have procedures? What, how, how are we going to keep in we touch? We do. We'll, we'll speak with you at least once a week. Okay. Um, and that will allow us to give you feedback on the interest that you've got on the property. Right. And then once a month, we can get um, details and figures from the Right Move website to see how many people have looked online. Okay, so that's that's pretty good feedback from there. Um, and a big thing is, I'm going to give you this property. Have you actually got any buyers on your list? Do you have lists? We have, we have. We've got a mailing list. Um, oh, right, okay. Which, uh, in this instance... And they're actually interested in my kind of property. They are interested I... specifically in this type of property in okay. this location. All right. Um, and as you can see there, we've got 28 people. Um, oh wow, okay. Possibly like to come look at your house. Fantastic. And do you know how many of those are actually in a cash position or have they all got properties to sell so I could be sitting here for weeks waiting for them to sell their property? I do. They're all, they're all in different positions. Okay. Um, with nine of those are in procedural positions right, so okay. are cash buyers or have got finance around right, so almost, without almost property a property to sell. Then, yeah. yes. Okay, so that's a reasonable number. And so when you send out my details, will you just send it out to those guys or... You know, no, we'll, no we'll also send it to people just outside of the parameters of, right, okay. of, of what they're looking for as well, because um, you know the, this might uh, be attractive to somebody who's not specifically looking for right. um, this type of property. So, it but they like the location, and there's nothing else, so they have to make some sort absolutely. of at some yeah. point. So we typically send it out to about between fifty and sixty people. Okay. Fantastic. Um, and as far as kind of trying to get other buyers in, now that you've got my wonderful house on uh, uh, to sell, how are you going to advertise it? Because that's actually where a lot of agents fall down, isn't it? There's it a lot is. of disputes it's happen with that. It's really important to make sure you're as fully as exposed as you possibly can be. Right. Um, nobody, nobody says that to me very often, James. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so what we'll try to do, uh, we'll have a board at the property. Um, we will also advertise in, in our office, which is in a high street location. And is that every week? Because sometimes people say, they put you in the window one week and then you never see it there again. No, you will be in the, in the window throughout the period right. of marketing. Okay. Cool. Um, we also advertise on the Right Move website and a number of other portals, so okay. Prime Location um, and Fish for Homes. Um, and those websites uh, are really, really important to, to, to getting your generate property to, to generate leads. Okay, and what about the local paper? We would also uh, be in the local papers. Um, Every week? What? Again, it's not as much as it would have been 10 or 15 years ago. Uh, we tend to advertise uh, every couple okay. of weeks. And that's because the net, I guess, most people... The internet is the, is the main place. Okay. Um, and one of the things that always worries me is that um, you give your business to an agent and then they come around to your... and then they send somebody else. So some... no offence, some kid comes around okay. and they've never seen my property before. All of our staff um, that are dealing with your property right. um, in your designated office will come and view the property. Right, and so they'll do that before all the... They, they will do that before we launch property to the market. Right, so okay. they can so discuss it with, with individuals. So they, they know okay. that what the property is like like what they're from, selling. from first hand. Okay, absolutely. Cool. Um, and if you actually sell my property, so if you sell it, is that it then? You just sit there and go, fantastic, wait to bank the money? No, 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 we're not, not done yet. Um, <laughs> we, we see it all the way through the legal process. So before exchange 
exchange and completion, we are constantly speaking with your solicitors and the solicitors of the purchasers to ensure that um, that, that, that pro purchase process is going smoothly, okay. um, ensuring we've got dates of exchange set yeah. um, and that will then lead to completion. Okay. Um, don't forget we don't get paid until that's completed, so that's it's true. within our interests so that's true. to make sure that, that, that's, uh, that all goes uh, okay. according to plan. Fair enough. And what if we kind of, um, what if what if you fall out at any stage? So okay. I'm sure we won't, James. Um, but what if we did? What if we had a bit of a ruck? Um, what happens? We're our RICS, um, Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors. Okay. Reg so we're regulated agents, yeah. um, and we've got uh, regulated um, chartered surveyors within the within the company okay. who oversee everything that happens. Um, so if you had any problems, you, you would have a redress to to to, the, to that institution. Um, oh, as well. So I don't just make a complaint to you. I've got a third party, effectively. Absolutely. So. Essentially, what we would, we would ask you to do sh in the first instance is to put your your complaint in writing, yeah. at which you would receive a response um, with our complaints procedure within 14 days. Okay. If you weren't happy with that response, then we would be referring you to the RICS okay. um, for for their thoughts. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, and. What qualifications have your staff got? I mean, you hear that estate agents don't have any qualifications at all. Okay. That's actually not strictly true, is it? No, um, it's important that, uh, that you know we are RICS regulated agents, so we've got chartered surveyors um, within the firm and okay. also professional surveyors um, who have obviously had an education in order to be able to, to, to do their job and they oversee everything that happens within the company right, okay. um, uh, with regards to selling your house. Right, okay. Um, and have you got a copy of your terms and conditions I then have. that yes, tie, me into, tie me in knots probably, do they? There we are. There, there right, we are. okay, yep. so they're there. So, how long have I got to give you my property for then? To we have an initial marketing period of, of 16 weeks. Okay, that sounds like an enormous amount. I mean, what happens if I sign up with you and then I don't see anybody for four weeks? I'm not overly happy. Okay, um, what we'd ask you to do is, is come and have a chat with us. Yeah. We can, we, you know, we're always happy to sit down and have a chat and, and we'll see what we can do to help. Okay, fantastic. Um, and that, ooh, I'll tell you the last question, that one that most people probably ask first is, how much do you charge? Uh, we would charge 1.25% of your um, okay. uh, value. And that's on the final value, so that's 300,000 if it goes for 285, then that 1.2%. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay, and so, talking in my head, it's around 10 grand, yep. this deal that we're sitting discussing here. Um, what on earth is all that money for? Well, we've got a number of overheads, as, as I'm sure you, you can imagine. Um, we have offices in, in prominent locations which we have to run and, and, and uh, obviously fully furnish. Um, we have buyers, which we've discussed. We've got 28 buyers in this instance, which haven't come to us for free. We, we've had to, we've had to obviously advertise in order to, to get that interest. And once we take your property on, we have to advertise the property moving forward. So um, we've got internet costs um, to advertise on right move it it's certainly, oh, right, it's certainly not them, free so, yeah. it's certainly not free um, obviously with your board local press advertising so all of these things are, are adding up um, in the production of your details and the servicing of you while you're 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 selling your property um, we have administration costs um, which which allow us to do our job uh, and the staff that, that conduct all of that work obviously have to be paid um, they will obviously want to come and look at the, that property as well, so we have sure. to be able to facilitate them, them coming here. And, and as I said before, we're, we're qualified agents, so we're chartered surveyors. We've had to go through an, a, an education in order to get to where we are, uh, and, and we have to pay annual fees to remain there. Um, okay. So it's, a, it's an expensive process for us. So um, it doesn't just cost a few thousand then, really? No, we're it's all this up. Okay, establishing, establishing a business to sell your property um, it's going to Take cost time. us a, a lot of money and time and effort and, and, and for that, um, that, that, that sort of allows us to establish that fee. Okay, brilliant. Well, thank you very much James. Thank you.